Hi everyone, I'm Christina Neptune of Christina Neptune Artistry and Beauty. I know you guys are looking at my face like, what is going on with her face? Why does it look like she's tore up from the floor up? So let me break it down to you. Three days ago, I got a chemical peel from my friend and you can follow her on Instagram. I will tag her info in the caption section but she is amazing she is underscore skin plug and you can also find her at underscore skin plug aesthetics but i did a chemical peel um this is not my first time doing one with her she is literally the only person that i will let touch my face i'm very picky about who can touch my face um right now it's day three so if you look all these dark areas are basically getting ready to lift and lighten. So what it is, it's the outermost area of your skin that is getting ready to peel. So it's like a forced injury, you can say, and it's it's basically a concoction of, of ingredients used to remove the outer layer of your skin. So during the time of the peel, you're not supposed to force the skin to peel you're not supposed to peel it on your own um you're supposed to be very delicate with the area so i'm going to show you techniques that were prescribed to me from my esthetician um i am also a licensed esthetician but it's important even as an esthetician to have other people help you take care of your skin i'm so busy and on the go that sometimes I don't have enough time to take care of it. But I'm going to do a quick routine on how I wash it, how I take care of it, how I dry it. And if you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments section and tag at skin plug, at underscore skin plug, and she'll give you more details on the peel and you can schedule with her. Okay, so now I'm gonna clip my hair back. Um, so that way I can go ahead and lather my skin evenly i'm not gonna do it over the bathroom sink because i think you guys need to see it so i'm kind of doing it with um a bowl of water in front of me so you guys can clearly see how it's done don't worry about seeing the dark spots the dark spots that's like a good thing because that skin is gonna lift right up so currently this is what i'm using um this was recommended by her this is one of the best products you can use to maintain your skincare. It is the Green Tea Citrus Cleanser. Um, I also have that along with the Glycolic Cleanser, which is really good. It maintains your face after the peel. So I'm going to go ahead and add a pea size amount. Oops. And we're just gonna lather it in. And the, the key to went to cleansing your face after a peel you're not to use like any sponges and all that stuff and like roughly like wash your face you take your fingertips and just kind of just lather and right now in this area I'm already starting to feel it peel but I'm not gonna irritate it and I'm not gonna go go over it and, and keep trying to you know irritate that area but this area in particular i felt a lot more discomfort and this area had a lot more frosting so i know this area is going to peel heavily and i'm excited because i'm like a peel freak um i'm just going to apply more water just to lather up a bit and then when i return will see me with a clean face. Okay, so now I washed my face and you wanna do it with cold water because warm and hot water will tend to cause excessive dryness and you'll be it'll be slightly irritated. And when drying your face, you wanna pat it, pat it dry. Um, if you could see this area here is starting to peel 
this is getting ready to peel soon. Um, I try not to irritate it. I don't touch it much. But it's recommended to at least wash your face three times a day. Um, also, um, wear SPF on your skin. Um, my SPF that I love, especially, um, it's very moisturizing, is Black Girl Sunscreen. And it has a broad spectrum of 30, which is good. Um, me being a jogger and I tend to jog in the sun, I prefer to wear this. This gives me good coverage and protection during the peel. So what I'm gonna do is I like to do a little concoction. I usually, for bedtime, I do vitamin E tablets. And what I do is I cut them in the middle. I cut them and then I use that to put on my face. And then aside from that, I also have from Skin Script. Sorry. I love using this, which is my aloe serum. It's like an aloe, a light aloe moisturizer. I put a little bit of that with the vitamin E. And then I also have a little bit of bio oil. Bio oil is good for like appearances of, of old scars, new scars. It helps even the skin tone. I like using this because it penetrates down into the new skin. I just put one or two drops. So I'm rubbing it, lathering it. What you don't want to do with this is rub it in. You just want to pat, pat. Just pat it in, just make sure you get all over, especially in the areas that are getting ready to lift and peel. Yeah, your face is gonna look a little greasy. Even after the peel, you're gonna have certain areas on your face, especially the forehead area. It's gonna be extremely shiny, and that's because the skin is tightening before it peels. That's normal. And you're gonna see a little bit of your skin tone changing, where your skin may look darker than the rest of your body, and that's only because that dead skin is lifting, and when that dead skin is lifting, it tends to make you look a little bit darker in tone. So, I'm just patting. You can see this area. It's peeling. Even the texture of the skin is a little bit more, more rougher. But that's the dead skin that's getting ready to lift. So, this is my daily regimen during the peel. So I'm on day three. So I'll keep you guys tuned in with with the whole process of the peel. Thanks for joining in. Y'all be blessed.